Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. Um, I want to ask women who are listening right now to listen carefully to this email and tell me if you relate to it. Tell me if in any way this is you. Tom, I listen to your show on a regular basis. I hate you and everything you say about women. However, the truth hurts because I am one of the typical women you bitch about on your show. I have been a Navy wife for 14 years. And while my husband has gone off to serve his country, I have stayed home to do my duty. Taking care of the kids. What this really means is that I spend his paycheck and watch a lot of TV. And by the way, about 80% of Navy wives are just like me. I have put on 50 pounds at the time since my husband and I met, and I have really let myself go. Now, in my 30s and really low on your 1 to 10 scale, I am terrified that my husband will start to resent me. He doesn't listen to your show, and I am fortunate that he still loves me. After listening for so long now, it has hit me that I need to do something now before he comes to his senses. Even though I abhor your abrasive attitude and sexist views, I know them to be mostly true. I just wanted to let you and your listeners know that even those who despise you will eventually realize you are right. Thanks for the wake-up call. Signed, soon to improve, from California. Many people, and especially many women, hate me when they first tune in, say I'm a misogynist, a chauvinist, a sexist, I'm terrible, I'm horrible, I'm a pig, I'm a creep, I'm a jerk. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for that, by the way. But many, many, many of you like soon to improve from California. If you listen long enough, eventually you see that uh, I'm telling the truth here. And hopefully you'll figure out the truth before it's too late. So I'm wondering, are you a woman like this? On first blush, you heard this show, and it was like, oh, horrible, terrible. He's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong. I can't believe anybody listens to this crap. Then you took a look in the mirror, and you took stock of yourself, and you realized that everything I'm saying is true. And in some cases, and maybe this is you listening to me right now, maybe you turned your life around as a result. <laughs> Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You have the show that every other jock out there wishes that they had. This is the show everybody promises, but nobody ever delivers, for Christ's sake. It's the Tom Likas Show. Show 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. It's Amy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Amy. Um, I am just like the well, not just like, but very similar to the um, person who wrote to you. Um, I'm 30 years old and have been listening to you for about four years and absolutely hated everything that came out of your mouth um, about women until I had my son. Uh, my son is now eight months. 
And finally, everything you said just clicked with me. Um, in, in terms of what you teach the boys on Like Us 101, that's what I'm going to be teaching my son. Um, you know, don't get married before you're 30. Go out, have fun, use protection. Don't get involved with single moms, all that stuff. Everything you say is absolutely true. And, I mean, it just clicked for me when I had my son. So, thank you. I'm doing it as a public service, as you know. <laughs> uh, it's, just, uh, it's just been uh, amazing to me what I've learned as a result of becoming a mom. And everything you say is absolutely true, uh, in my opinion. And uh, do you tell that to other women, and are they uh, perturbed by that? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, some of my friends just can't believe that I've, you know, I've done a complete 180. Um, and my husband, he just laughs because he just can't believe that I absolutely hated you before. And I'm just, I, I can't believe it myself. But, um, but everything you say is absolutely true about women. And I'm going to teach my son to be careful, you know? I mean, be careful. Don't, uh, fall in love with every any woman that you see. I mean, you've got to be careful out there. So, that's my opinion, Tom. Thank, Thank you, you so Amy. much. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking to women who hated me when they first heard me. And then as they listened, they realized, well, maybe I had a point. Maybe you even changed your life as a result of hearing some of the things we've said about women and men. 1-800-5800-866 is our telephone number. Louise, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I was one of the haters. Uh-huh. And uh, I think um, uh, whoever could answer the phone, he asked what's my age, and I uh, told him I was 41, right. which I am. Yeah. And um, I'm highly educated, and I just uh, I wonder if you realize um, how many highly educated women follow you. We uh, have actually uh, done research here in Los Angeles and found that the women who listen have the highest income of any women listening to the radio in the afternoon and the highest educations. Yeah, we're, um, my husband and I are both in six digits, and um, we have a lot of female friends who listen to you and believe you, and I think the reason is is because we are myself. I see a lot of women um, and watch a lot of women do a lot of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just, uh, when you were reading that, uh, oh, the other reason I called in was when you, uh, it almost sounded like me. I thought, geez, I could have uh, I could have written that letter, but I missed the beginning part of it. But at one point she said she didn't want her husband to listen, and I'm with her. <laughs> 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 because I don't want to be held in check, but I know uh, I'm, I'm uh, hoping to listen and keep myself out of it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Dawn on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dawn? Dawn walked away from the telephone. All right, we'll get to Dawn here. Lourdes, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? Do you care, Lourdes? Uh, actually, I really do. I've been listening to you for about two years now. Initially, one of my friends turned me on to you who absolutely hated you. And I kind of did hate you initially, but it was because I was going through, like, a really bad breakup. And uh, but everything that you pretty much say is true. And when you feel like a guy is kind of messing around or you really don't get a guy, basically just tune into this show, and you kind of should have the feeling or should know what he's up to. Uh-huh. So you're great. Just wanted to let you know. Well, thank you for that. So you originally had problems with me. Yeah, but I think it's just a lot of girls and women might have problems with you just because they don't want to escape the truth. That's, I think, my conclusion at least. But, yeah, for the most part, you know, like you said, like the last listener said, or everybody should marry after 30 if possible, and uh, pretty much everything is what you say, I think. Lourdes, thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Julie... On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, hey, Tom. Julie. Yeah, um, I used to hate you. I mean, I could not stand you. My brother would listen to you all the time, and he would always, he had all the stickers in his car, the um, Likas stickers, and I used to hate it, and I hated you, and I'd say, why, what, why do you listen to him? And then one day I went on your website, and I saw your picture, and I was disgusted. I said, how can this guy look like that and talk like this about women? But then that was because I used to be fat, 
And I was really pretty, but guys would never want to date me because I was just this ugly fat kid. But you have such a pretty face. Exactly. You're so pretty, but you got to lose weight. So then to hear you sit there and talk about women and they're fat and, oh, my God, I thought you were repulsive. So then, like, what I did was I went and I lost, because of you, I came, I lost weight, and then I went and I had myself a tummy tuck, light bulb, I had all this work done. And now everything you say is like the complete opposite of what I used to think about you. Now, Remember I used to say, and I still do occasionally, that hot chicks have no problem with what I say. No, it's true because I'm very pretty, and I used to always get that. You're so pretty, but you're weight, but you're fat. So now that I lost all the weight, and now that I'm pretty, and I get all this attention from men everywhere, it's like, oh, my God, I love Tom Likas. It's true. Now you're opening my eyes, and I love you. Oh, Julie. I love you. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. I appreciate that call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Carolyn on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you today? I'm okay, Carolyn. I just called to let you know that your previous caller who said educated women listen to the show, it's very true. And when I first started listening to you, I was newly divorced, overweight, unhappy with myself, didn't want to hear what you had to say because it was everything against what I wanted to believe. But listening to you, you make a lot of sense. And now I tell my son, who has grown, exactly what you tell these guys on the air. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You have a very intuitive aspect. And I appreciate it. Well, thank you for that. Uh, you know, again, I, I, in fact, there you are telling me that you were just divorced and you were overweight. And, of course, how many times have I said women go to the gym when they get divorced? Yeah. What if they'd done that while they were married? That, that's true. That's true. And it, <laughs> as much as I don't like some of the ways that you say things, the things that you say are very true. I'm just and, being honest. Well, and <laughs> you... Anybody that's out there that disagrees with you, they have their own personal problems for disagreeing with you because you don't lie. You tell the truth. And I encourage my son to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So, thank you so much. Carolyn, thank you. Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kim. I used to hate you. I used to just turn on the radio to see if you had died that day. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, I can't stand you, but I, for some reason, I kept, I kept turning on the radio to hear what you had to say, and um, I must say that I have learned a lot about men, and um, I've told some of my friends to listen to Tom. I actually have done that, uh, so some things I don't agree with you, but about men, I listen to see what you're going to say, and I've been telling some of my friends who are married and letting themselves go, and I'm thinking, you better listen to Tom. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, um, so I do listen and I learn. Um, have you changed anything about your life as a result of tuning in? Yes, I have. Um, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm working out more. I, I, I have a lot of things, you know, houses, cars, that sort of thing. But I'm still looking for the, the guy that I want. But I, I've learned a lot from you, and I'm trying to be smart about smarter about the way I handle myself. I'm still learning that, so I'm listening. Now, you're a hard worker, I imagine, if you own all that stuff, and that you probably yes. work a lot of hours. Yeah. You do realize guys don't want to come home to an empty house. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, what do I do? The, you know, they want to be just you just to babysit them and be with them all the time? Well, put it this way. A guy, here's how guys think, and by the way, I think this way. If I have to come home to an empty house, I can be single. Uh, oh, thank you for that. Oh, thank you for that. See, you, you are helpful. <laughs> but you are contrary helpful. to popular belief. Contra, you know what I did? I used to just, I used to just, oh, I hated you so much. I'm thinking, how can this guy live? I just called to see if you had died that day. But I listened and I listened and I kept listening. And now I'm turning my friends on. You better listen to Tom. You better listen. So, you know, please give us more advice like that. Because I, um, we could use it. Oh, I know. Uh, you know. You <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Bye. Appreciate the call. Debbie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Glad you're doing good. I already know you are. Mm -hmm. uh, calling, I'm a long-time listener, probably about three years, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't like you at first, either. <laughs> I had a majorly hard time with you. I'm 46 years old. I was married at 19. 
had uh, three children. Um, I never went through a career, but I was in and out of school and always worked very hard and married a bum. My deal was uh, at the time that I first started listening to you, uh, since then my kids are grown and um, I'm in the mortgage business and I'm mostly working with men. So I learned a lot from men uh-huh. um, myself and befriended a lot of guys. But um, and my husband doesn't really listen to you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, he's been protected probably mostly by me just because of the fact that uh, I have listened. And it did take me, like I said, uh, a little while to be convinced that you do make sense, but you do. Now, did it change your life in any way? Yeah, i got to say that it did because, you know what, um, I started putting on some weight, um, partly probably because of my age. I don't want to use that for an excuse because I've always worked out, played volleyball, um, been very active. But, um, you know, I started using some things as an excuse, started giving up on my career, you know, started, you know, whining. Men, men have, it's a men's world. You know, it's one thing my husband used to hear all the time. It's a man's world. It's a man's world. Well, you know what? It is a man's world. Um, you know, Dane, if you're listening, he's on the way to a fish show right now. So he may be listening to me. <laughs> he, he's right. It is a man's world. And I'm home. Um, I cook. No matter, even, even if I'm working, I cook. I clean. You know, he's got his laundry done. I make sure that he comes first. And um, he knows that. And is your marriage happier now that you do that? Well, this is my third marriage, so I, yeah, by the third time, yeah, you make it right. All right. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's real good. Debbie, thank you. Hey, thank you, Tom. Nice talking to you. Appreciate the call. Crystal on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I actually called not because you changed my life, but because I hated you so much when I first started listening to you. When I started working, I work at a bookstore, and another guy I work with, he listens to you all the time, and I just would bitch and bitch about how much I hated everything you said. But every single time you'd make a point, some stupid girl would call in and prove everything you said wrong. I mean, I mean right. Like, uh, I don't know, you would say women are stupid, and they'd call in and just be stupid. <laughs> and I just want to thank you for pointing out how stupid some girls are, because I think it makes other guys, uh, I don't know, appreciate the girls that aren't. As dumb. I think that's true. Does that now better made you feel superior, right? <laughs> it actually, it does make me feel a little superior, and it also gives me a good uh, conversation piece for me and my coworker back here. Everything I'm like, oh, I hate him. I hate him. I can't believe he said that. And he's like, he's right. He's right. And he'll he'll like make it. You know, he'll make your point make more sense to me. And and I'll be like, no, you're wrong. And then five seconds later, some retarded girl calls in, and she's like, yeah, I cheat on my boyfriend all the time, even though he's in the army. And I'm like, ugh. So yeah, I wanted to call and say hey. And, Thank you. Uh, he says uh, he loves you, and you're his dad. Totally whatever that means. cool. Well, say hi to my son for me, would you please? Okay, sure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Stacy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, I just wanted to call and um, tell you that I just recently moved here a month ago from Texas, and. I had never heard a show like yours, and at first, the things you said, I really didn't like. Me and my husband would get in arguments over it, but now you're on on my radio all the time. I love that. And did it change your life at all? It would have changed my life if I would have... If you would have had a show over there in Texas where I lived at, because... Where in Texas did you live? In Corpus Christi. Oh, okay. We were on there for a little while a few years ago. Oh, it's because I'm 22, and I just had a baby, and I'm recently married. I recently got married, so it would have changed my life a whole lot if I would have listened to you earlier. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say that I love your show. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you. Appreciate the call. We're talking to women who hated me in the beginning. And for some reason, just kept coming back and kept listening and ultimately realized I was right. And now it's changed their lives. Amanda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? I have a statement Ah. for you. When I first listened to you, um, for some reason, uh, my boyfriend or whatever you want to call him here in San Gabriel, Eddie, he said, hey, a friend at work said, listen to this channel. And so we turned it on, right? And he preset it into my um, my car, so I had to turn it on. And when I listened to you, I was like, oh, that guy is just a woman hater and this and that. But yet I kept listening. And then I realized everything you said was really true. Mm-hmm. 
And so I agree with the girl, Crystal. Everything you said is really true. Even though I didn't like it in the beginning, it's really true. Wow. And uh, now that you know that it's all really true, has it changed your life in any way? Well, it's going to very soon, I'm sure. But, you know, it, it, it's just recently that I'm so like... just oh. recently realized that I'm right. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. But it's going to make a definite impact, you know, in, in what I do and the choices I make in life because you're definitely different and the things you say are true, but you put them in a different perspective so we understand, you know. But it takes a while for women to grasp that because at, at the very beginning we, we think, oh, that's a negative comment, that's, um, that's wrong. Well, the little ladies get emotional when they first hear that. Right, right. We, we say, oh, that's bad, that's bad for us, so we have to get, you know, emotional and cry over it and say, oh, that's wrong. I can't believe they think that way. But really, we, we do those things. I know. You know. We do those mean things that you say. We do. I know. So it's just being honest. It's not your fault. It's I, just what we do. I understand. Amanda, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Terry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How Hi. are you doing? Do you care? I most certainly care. I'm doing great. You were, without a doubt, the most vile human being I had ever listened to many years ago, more than I care to remember, and I listened to you for that very reason, to see how vile you could be the next day, and when I finally realized that your show was strictly about men just dating women, not getting married, how women are, what to look out for, I, I completely agreed with you. Women, women are what you say. I have four sons, and I haven't introduced them to you yet, but I will very soon. I want them all to to find out the truth about women and not not get involved too soon. Uh huh. So you have changed my life in many ways. I love that. Yes, I do too. I do too. I'm uh, I'm also I'm married. I've been married forever. I've never worked. My husband is making six figures. I agree with what you say about your philosophy on the trophy wife. Um, because of that, I realize I'm going to need to keep myself in shape. If I want to keep the lifestyle that I'm accustomed to living, and uh, again, you you were the one that opened my eyes to all of that, so I have you to thank you for. I love that. One eight hundred. I got a problem. I'm 20 years old, married, and I have a kid. That's two problems. And I got another one too. That's three. Uh, last night. Me and my best friend's wife hooked up. That's four and five. The Tom Likas Show. Yeah, it's the Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm talking to women who hated me, hated this show in the beginning. But as they listened, they realized I was right. And it's changed their lives. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Christy on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Christy. Um, I, I remember when I was, I just start, started listening to you, I thought you were just ridiculous. My husband turned me into you, listening into you, and um, I just thought this guy's crazy. You know, he's talking nonsense. But I couldn't relate to you because I, I was not the typical American woman. It, I, I am, you know, I don't have the values and the beliefs that normal American women have, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't believe what you were saying. But now that I listen to you and you make more sense, and uh, I realize that how important it is, and I always have been doing this, um, you know, cooking, cleaning, providing the best for the husband and the family, the cultural belief that I have. So, where are um, you from, think, Christy? I'm sorry? Where are you from? Um, I'd rather not say. And you can tell us what continent it is, if nothing else. Um, it's part of Russia, but it's not Russian. Okay. Okay, so, um, but men in my culture, they have really high expectations of women. And it's not a third world country. You know, it's not one of the Middle Eastern countries where, you know, women have no value. But uh, we're just raised to respect men and... Um, we have high, um, you know, we have really good um, family values and respect, and I just thought everything you say makes a lot of sense after a while listening to you. 
So thank you for everything. I'm here to help, Christy. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, this is Tammy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tammy. Hey, I just want to let you know that I have been one of those self-righteous, semi-fat career girls for about 12 years, uh -huh. uh, in and out of relationships, uh, sort of happy, and was dating a gentleman this last, uh, this last January, and things were going well for about three months, and then he basically told me that the weight was an issue, and uh, dumped me. And I knew that he was a disciple of yours for many, many years and got turned on myself to the Tom Likas ways and went ahead and lost myself about 30 pounds in three months and knocked back on the door again. And we've been together ever since. And I am headed right now to go cook dinner. And I have to say I've not been happier or healthier in my entire life. And I want to thank you. Oh, look at that. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. So, so I was I, the one person in your life who told the truth about that. Well, you told the truth to this wonderful gentleman, Tony, and Tony told me the truth, and I got turned on to you, and, uh, yeah, it's, I'm very happy, and it's, it's so sad that I wasted so many years of my life seeing this, oh, they should like me for who I am. Well, you know what? I am a beautiful woman who, you know, deserves that, and I deserve to treat myself that way, and I deserve to treat the men in my life absolutely excruciatingly pleasurable and wonderful every day, so... Thank you very much. Tammy, thank you. I appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Brooke on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much, Brooke. Um, I was calling because I, I heard you several years ago. I used to live in Southern California and um, absolutely agree with a lot of the callers where I just thought you were the biggest show in the stick pig and... Uh, didn't really care much for you. And then I um, met my my uh, current husband, my current husband, my only husband, met my husband. And then actually when I moved out here to the Las Vegas area, um, I found you on a station out here and actually started listening to you and kind of getting past the egotistical thing and uh, actually understanding what you were saying. And um, I we got married out here, and then I started putting on the weight and I cut my hair, <laughs> and um, I was totally one of those women, and um, my husband confronted me about it, and I grew my hair out and lost 20 pounds, and I actually got my husband starting to listen to you now, so um, it's a lot of the things you say are true. I would have to agree with that, and I, and I love how you promote uh, being safe and not having kids and not getting married until you're older and ready because there's way too few people that understand that. So that's really important because I'm, I'm now 27 and my husband's over 30. We still don't have kids, but we waited. We lived together for five years before we even got married. So waiting until you're ready and being safe is the best thing to do in the world, and I'm really glad you promote that. Well, thank you for that, Brooke. I appreciate it. It's Tracy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Um, just started listening to you, and I'm actually not at all convinced that I'm going to love you in a year. I, uh, I, well, I, you've heard all the other women who've called this hour. They all have the same attitude you did when they first tuned in. I, I realize that, but I, they all, all of them sound... Well, I, I don't know how to say it, but they sound like they're not terribly well-educated. They sound like they're maybe, you know, maybe we're daddy's girls. I don't, I, you know, I just, none of them sound like contemporary, you know, women at all. They all sound like... What does that ass. mean, contemporary women? Uh, someone who can think for herself, someone who can act for herself, someone who can stand up for herself, someone who's... Women who can do all those things for themselves usually live by themselves. Well, you can live. You can you can certainly live a happy life with somebody else, but I, I think if you, you got to take care of yourself. Guys don't want to be with mouthy broads who never shut up. <laughs> well, my husband of twelve years might take. Now, he's to probably that. a pussy. <laughs> he's not a pussy. Uh, but he loves your show. I'll he absolutely well, loves your show. <laughs> but he does. He's, he's right here. I'll put him on for you. Okay, Hold on. Put him on. Oh, wait a minute now. Is that just called a pussy? <laughs> well, if you can put up with that mouth for 12 years, I don't know how you do it. You have no idea what that mouth is like. Come on, Tom. Uh, I mean when it's talking. Uh, I understand. Not when it's full. 
she is great. Listen, I'm a fan, and uh, we're 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 kind of new to the uh, to the West Coast listening to you, but she's just not getting it, and I'm not sure if she ever will. Hasn't she heard the other women calling in this hour, one after another? They said, "Yeah, I hated him. I hated him when I first tuned in. I hated him." And uh, she 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 is listening, but I I do have to kind of agree with so. Uh, with uh, with her in ways, they do all sound kind of like you know they're under some sort of trance, some sort of like stepper thing is happening. Well, I I certainly am the leader of a cult, as you know. <laughs> That's for sure. I'll be having a big listener party. We'll be serving Kool Aid this week, yeah, so don't miss right. that. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? We 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 will mark this date down on our calendar and call you a uh, a, a year from now, cool. and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Excellent. <laughs> S- sounds good to me. All right, man. Thanks very much for the call. Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. How are you today? Do you care? Yes, I do, because I don't want you to rip me a new one, because I don't agree with you on what you say. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Veronica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hola, Tom. How you doing? Do you care, Veronica? I sure do. I'm doing great. Awesome. Well, I was just kind of let you know that, you know, my parents are old school Mexican, and my mom was always trying to tell me how the traditional female roles were the way to go. And I was just, I've been fighting it most of my life that that wasn't it. And, you know, once I started listening to you, I wasn't sure if um, I was going to like you. And I've been hearing you for about three years, and I'm convinced, you know. I'm hearing you, and I'm like, that's what my mom has been telling me my whole life. And you definitely say a lot of um, correct things about women. You know, a lot of, majority of the women are what you say they are, and, you're not always talking about everybody, you know, because I know you're not talking about me. You're mm-hmm. talking about everybody else that's not um, the right way that they should be because, you know, we do need to take care of our men. Is your mom married? Yes, my parents have been married for 43 years. Well, that should tell you something, shouldn't it? Yes, definitely, and I know what my place is in a relationship, and, you know, I am currently unmarried, but, you know, I I like it this way, and, you know, I'm just interested in having fun and meeting people. And you're how old? I'm going to be 30 in about two weeks. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I like the way you use the word unmarried and not single. I, uh, no, I, I think that's great. You. <laughs> yeah. Unmarried is the way to go. That's it. Single is desperate. I And, I, and that I'm not. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you know, I want to take my time because, you know, I do want to have a family, and but I also want to find the right person to have that family with. Mm-hmm. And you're taking your time, which is the best way to go. Most definitely. And I thank you so much for all the wisdom that you are sharing with everybody that listens to you. And folks out there, you need to really listen to him because he definitely knows what he's talking about. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Take- pre- pre- well, what, what, do you want to be taken out? Do you want to be taken out? I lost her. She wanted to be taken out somehow. I... I, I lost her after that half a syllable there. one eight hundred five eight hundred tom This is Sherry on the Tom Likey Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I used to hate you, and I hated myself. That usually goes hand in hand, dear. Yeah, it, it really does. You know, I listen to you. I've learned a lot. I've lost over 160 pounds. Wow. And, you know, I love myself. And what you have to say is so right on about so many women. I'm a 49-year-old woman. I listen to you constantly. I didn't get married until I was 35. I have two sons, and um, we listen to you all the time, Tom. I think that's great. And what you say is so true. I love that. And I want to thank you for helping change my life because I'm a different person. I look in the mirror, and I like what I see. And before, I used to hate myself, and I tried to convince myself that being overweight uh, was not really that bad because I was a great person. I was fun to be with. I had a great personality. I was intelligent. But you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't even convince myself of that. But now I can. And, it's thank- and now that you look great, you would never resent anything I say about women on this show because you look great. Absolutely. 
So the women who call up and get all mad at me, uh, those are the chunksters with the short hair who gave up a long time ago. Well, yeah, and they hate themselves, and that's they, actually, Tom, they think that they hate you, but they don't. They hate themselves. They yeah. just can't figure that out. I think you're right. And about I don't that. care how much, uh, how how many acrylic nails they have, or how much eyeshadow, or how big their lips are with lipstick. They still hate themselves. Yeah, you're right about that. That's you, right. You got it, Jerry. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for the call. Our email address. Is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Or you can call our comment line 24 hours a day. The number, area code 310 842 9592. The Tom Likas Show.